In this video, we're going to look at setting the session meter, tempo, and key signature in Pro Tools. Before you start recording MIDI data into your Pro Tools session, you'll want to verify that the session's meter, tempo, and key signature are set correctly. First, we'll look at setting the session meter. A new Pro Tools session always defaults to a meter of 4-4 time. You'll want to make sure that the meter ruler is displayed in the Pro Tools edit window. You can do this by going to the Ruler View selector and selecting Meter. To change the current meter for the session, simply click on the plus sign at the far left of the ruler. This will bring up the Meter Change dialog box. Then you can enter the desired meter for your session. You can also change the click value if necessary. Then click OK to insert the meter change. You can change the session tempo in a similar fashion. A new Pro Tools session always defaults to a tempo of 120 beats per minute. Just like when we change the meter, you can change the session tempo by clicking on the plus sign at the far left of the tempo ruler. This will bring up the tempo change dialog, and here you can type in the new beats per minute value. You can also change the resolution to base the tempo on a value other than a quarter note, although the quarter note is the most common resolution. Then click OK to insert the tempo change. In order for Pro Tools to follow these tempo and meter events that we've created in the tempo and meter rulers, you'll need to make sure that the conductor track is enabled in the transport. If you'd prefer to use a manual tempo, simply disable the tempo ruler enable button. Now you can enter a manual tempo by typing a number into the tempo field, or by clicking and dragging. One other advantage to using the manual tempo is that you can use the T key on your computer keyboard to tap a tempo. Simply click into the tempo field and then tap on the T key and Pro Tools will calculate the tap tempo. Next let's look at setting the session's key signature. Pro Tools sessions default to a key signature of C major. Generally, it's not necessary to set a key signature for the session, but it does have some advantages, like automatically transposing MIDI data when you insert a key change event. First, we'll need to make sure that the key signature ruler is displayed. Then we can click the Add Key Signature button, which is the plus sign at the far left of the ruler. Here you can choose a major or minor mode and the key signature. If you want this key signature to start at the beginning of the song, make sure that the from field is showing bar 1 beat 1. Then click OK to insert the key change. And that's how we set the starting tempo, meter, and key signature for our session.